The treadmill problem. Before we start, I'd like to use an analogy to kind of show what medicine is like and to help frame the way we're going to go forward to defeat physician burnout. And that is the treadmill. Now, I want you to imagine that you are a high school student and you've decided you want to be a doctor. You love helping patients. You love the idea of helping people. And medicine is the career for you. So you strap on your running shoes and you hop on the treadmill trying to make it there. Now, you know that you're not going to be able to get into medical school if you don't get into a good college. So you got to start running on the treadmill and putting some work into it because you want to get into a good college to go to a good medical school. So you're running, you're, you're picking up some speed, and congratulations, you finished high school, now you're in college. Great. Well, now you're in college, but you know, you need to work hard to get into a good medical school. Most people who want to go to medical school, they don't get in. You don't want to be one of those people. So now you're working harder. You're running quite a bit on the treadmill here because you really want to go into medical school. So you're working and you're running and you're trying hard. And while you're doing this, your other friends in college, they're out going to parties and they're having fun and they're dating and they're doing this and they're doing that. But you're on the treadmill. But, you know, your hard work has paid off. And guess what? You made it into medical school. Congratulations. Most people who want to do that never make it. But you did, which is great. But medical school is hard. You've got overnight call and you've got nights and you've got weekends and you've got tests and standardized tests and everything else. And you're learning all these new things. So you're doing this for years. You're running faster and faster on the treadmill. Now you're your sweatshirt is off, you've got your Lululemon things on, you're guzzling water. And all the while that you're doing this, you kind of glance to the left, you glance to the right, and you notice your friends, the ones who either went to work right after college or even the ones that went to law school or business school. They're already done. You're still on the treadmill running hard. So you're putting in more effort and more effort. And guess what? You finished medical school, which is great, and you enjoyed it, and you loved the patients. It all works out. Except now, you have residency and maybe fellowship. Now you really have to run on the treadmill because residency really is hard. You may be working 80 plus hours a week. You're working overnight. You're giving up nights and weekends. At this point, you're running so fast on the treadmill, it's really hard to take a little peek to the left and the right. But what do you see? You see your friends who are now getting married, or having kids, or buying houses, or sports cars, or fancy vacations. You're not doing that stuff because you're working so hard in residency. But it's all worth it, right? Because you want to become a doctor and you are almost there. So you finish residency and now you are finally in attending. You're a real doctor. So that's great. That is what you've done all of this for. Except once you get there, you find out that that is really hard. Now, not only do you have the night call and the weekend call and the long, unpredictable, unregulated hours, but you are now the one responsible for everything. If something goes wrong, it's your fault. If there's a complaint, it filters its way up to you. <laughs> Plus, now you've got a huge email inbox filled with patient questions and medication refills and this and that that you have to deal with. And now you have to learn how to deal with the administration. I call them the folks upstairs who will tell you how to actually practice medicine and really have more power than you do, even though you've got all the responsibility. At this point, you are really running hard in the treadmill. You are running so hard that you don't get to see life pass you by. Yes, maybe you got lucky and somewhere along the way, you were married or you bought a house or you had kids or you got a pet or you did something you wanted to do, and that's great. Except you're going so fast, you don't get to see your kids or your spouse or your pet. You don't really get to enjoy your house because you are running so fast on the treadmill. And eventually, as we get older, things get harder. It's harder to take that call. It's harder to work those overnight shifts. It's harder to miss things, maybe our health declines, or just with age. So now, even though we're still running hard on the treadmill, we feel like we're falling further and further behind. This is a classic problem. It, it happens in, in almost all fields, but particularly it could happen in medicine. And so you're hit with this whammy. 
You've worked hard your whole life. You've worked hard to get into medical school and to become a doctor. Your friends and your peers were all getting married and having fun and going to parties and everything else while you were struggling away. But the struggle never seems to end. And this can lead to burnout because you notice other people are being able to do things you never got to do. Plus, once you're in the promised land of medicine, things aren't the way you would hope they were because you have all these emails and you have all these irregular hours and you have to deal with the administrators and you have all this responsibility without authority and it's just not what you envisioned. So all of these things, plus toxic coworkers, can lead to physician burnout. Thankfully though, there are solutions to physician burnout once we understand what the problems are. 